Mr. B spends a ton of money designing thumbnails, and that got me thinking, what if I use Photoshop AI to design thumbnails for Mr. Beast? Let's jump in and test this theory. So this is the first thumbnail that I'm going to use, and the first thing that I'm going to do is cut out Jimmy because he's pretty much standard in every single thumbnail. So I'm gonna start with a very simple prompt, just using a landscape with a blue sky and white clouds. And I'll click on generate. Now Photoshop is going to take my prompt, push it up to the cloud, and try to figure out what the best image is for my prompt. I've got a few selections here, but I think I'm gonna just stick with the first one. So looking at the thumbnail, the next thing to do is put in a plane. Let's drop in a new prompt, small private jet parked on runway. Okay, so we've got some really interesting choices here. Okay, this jet is funny. It's missing part of the wing, but we'll make it work. So looking at Jimmy's thumbnail, we can see that all of the guys standing around the airplane are all wearing the same kind of outfit. So we're gonna use that for our prompt. All right, let's see how Adobe does with this. So I'm gonna make a selection here and I'm gonna drop in our prompt. Young man wearing yellow hoodie, black pants, touching airplane. This will be really interesting to see what happens. Okay, so we've got some options here and it's really incredible to see that they're all touching the plane and there's weird things happening. All right, I'm just gonna go with this one. I'm gonna make another selection. I'm gonna copy my prompt again and just drop it in and just see what happens. Okay, got another random result here and apparently everybody is camera shy. They don't wanna look at the camera. He's not touching the plane at all. He's kind of touching. I think our first one is probably gonna be the better one. And it's just amazing. Look at the shadows that are on the ground. This is really cool. Okay, so we've got a couple of guys touching the airplane. They're not looking at the camera, but there is another guy that we're gonna tackle next. He's actually sitting on the stairs leaning into the aircraft. Just one problem, our airplane doesn't have any open stairs. I'll make another selection and drop in a new prompt. Airplane door open with stairs. Okay, we've got some interesting options again, but this is not really capturing what I'm looking for. So I think I'm gonna to have to regenerate this. None of these really look like the stairs that were in the original thumbnail, but I think I have one that could work. I'm just gonna go with it. So I'm gonna reuse my prompt, but I'm just going to change it a little bit. So young man wearing yellow hoodie and black pants sitting on stairs. Okay, we've got some really cool options here. I love how they are all just sitting on the stairs and Adobe has nailed that like perfect. But there is one problem. He seems kind of small. I don't know why this is like this, but not necessarily the same proportion as the other guys, but okay, we'll just go with it. Maybe the AI knows better than I do. The last guy, he's sitting on the wing, touching the plane. This is probably gonna give us some funny results. So let's just go ahead and make a selection here and type in our prompt. Again, I'm using the same prompt, just modifying it a little bit. Young man wearing yellow hoodie and black pants, touching the airplane, sitting on the wing. Okay, not sure what he's grabbing for, what he's looking at. He's sitting on the, on the airplane wing and he's touching the aircraft. Okay, I'm just going with the first one. And let's take a look at the original thumbnail versus our thumbnail generated by AI. Okay, it's not exactly the same. Let's bring Jimmy back in. Let's call it a day with this thumbnail. Jimmy, if you like this as an alternative thumbnail, look me up. I'll be sure to give this to you. For our next thumbnail, this one is probably going to be pretty tricky. I just have to say, what could go wrong? Okay, let's jump in. Let's cut out Jimmy and just drop him into a new canvas. Sorry, Jimmy, it's not the best selection, but I think we know what we're trying to accomplish here. Okay, so we're just gonna start with the background, just a simple landscape with a blue sky. Okay, we've got some nice selections here. Let's start dropping in some people. So looking at Jimmy's thumbnail for reference, we can see everybody's got a red jumpsuit on. So I'm gonna use that as part of my prompt. Let's put in a large group of older people wearing red jumpsuits. Oh. Okay, this is really creepy. What in the world? Everybody's leaving. Where's everybody going? Okay, wait, what's the guy in the blue jacket for? Okay, th these are really weird results. But again, maybe the AI knows something that I don't. Apparently, Generative Phil has a really hard time with faces. These look bad. Okay, I don't know if the AI is going to be able to uh, do this or not. 
Let's just put in, in the next group. A large group of young people wearing red jumpsuits. Okay, this is not right. Bro, they got two-headed people? What? What is that? Oh, this is AI gone wrong. Okay, let's just drop Jimmy back in on this layout. Okay, we've got older people on one side, we've got younger people on the other, but we're missing a little something. Okay, we've got this cute little baby here in the corner, and just want to make sure that we have all age groups <laughs> represented here. All right, so I'm making the selection, and I'm just putting in holding baby with pacifier. Oh. <laughs> Not what I was expecting. All right. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going with this one. Okay, it's really fun to see the original thumbnail versus the AI generated thumbnail. I don't think that I am in any trouble being replaced by AI just yet, but let me know in the comments below what you think. I think there's some value here of using some of the generative fill AI, maybe to even put in some prompts as you're trying to put it together, some type of composition for your layout, using the AI to make those changes and see what comes up. Hey, be sure to like and subscribe. I've got another video lined up just for you, and I'll see you in the next video.